is a Friday. It is the 17th, I think it is. Um, I'm sorry, I always look a mess when I'm on camera, but I don't often wear makeup being my age. And I don't know, I just don't see the point in dressing myself up just for the camera. I like you to see the real me. I might look old and haggard, real me, but I just, I like you seeing me. And you know, I need to get these glasses sorted because I keep pushing them up and they keep falling down. And while we're on this like lockdown, I can't get them sorted yet. So um, it's doing my head in, it really is. I need them updated. So right, I've come on because I've just had my delivery of my jigsaw puzzle board to do the jigsaw on, because I did start doing a jigsaw on my dining table. But some cat called Oslo, that is a fast asleep, just here at the moment, Oslo, there's voice, some cat called Oslo, when we done the clap for the NHS, he jumped and he was sitting on my jigsaw puzzle on the table at the time and my puzzle went everywhere. So I thought, right, I'm gonna have to order a board. So I got this one off eBay, this was 20 pound. Normally these are about 10 to 12 pound. But while everyone is doing crafts and things, the price went up, which it's not good. eBay, I'm uh, not happy with you. Let me just get the stuff put away. I can use that cardboard for another craft, that's great. I've got an idea for a craft for that. So yeah, it's now 20 pound, 20 pound or more we're going up to. That's my puzzle, but that's a picture of it there. And I've still got a bit of my puzzle, the top part. Is it the top part? Yes, the top part, my puzzle saved on some sticker thing. So let's get it out and see what it's like. Then my cat can't ruin it anymore. And then I'll have to store this somewhere. I have sanitised all the area, by the way. Because this has been sitting in my house a couple of days now. I've sanitised all the area. And I will be sanitising again. I can't get in it after I've um, opened all this. I can't get in it. Last night it was clap for NHS and the carers and the key workers was nice. So, you get different size boards as well. I've got the, um, I think I've got the biggest size. And that's the board. Does it open out? I thought it opened out. Oh no. Well, it's not the one I thought I ordered. I thought I ordered the one that opened and closed. Oh, sugar. And this was £20 as well. It's not the one. I'm going to see. <laughs> It's not the one that opened. Oh, dear, this is it. That opened and closes. It's just a flat board. Oh my god. But I suppose the cat still can't move in it. Oh, it doesn't open and close. It's just a board. Twenty pounds spent on this. Okay. So let's see if we can try and kind of transfer my puzzle onto it. I don't even know where my puzzle box is. Oh, it's the top part. Okay, yeah, let's try and. Push that on. Yes, 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 yes. The cat jumped so hard as well, it damaged all the other bit I had built. Use these. The Jeezy fashion stickers you put on your hat, on your ceilings and walls and things. Not ceilings, you put on your walls. I use them to just hold it for now. And that is my jigsaw puzzle. Oh. I am not in the mood to build it at the minute. And it's getting cat eyes on it quite easily as well. Great. So that's it. I thought I'd show you that, but it's not the right thing I ordered. <laughs> Total fail, Esther. Right, I will come back to you. Hi, right, so it is a Sunday the 19th of um, April. I'm feeling a bit um, low today. I ain't got a clue why. Well, why, why I'm asking why, we all know why. Um, because of the lockdown. But I am, I've done painting this morning. Finished off some more painting. Um, I'm now sitting with an ice pack on my back. 
bitches there. Can you see that? Because my joints are killing me. Um, but yeah, look, my hair is a mess. I've got grey coming through. I feel a mess. I feel tired. And I'm just all well, fed up. But luckily, in about half an hour, my son's coming down because um, we were in out of flea stuff, flea medication for the dog and for the cats and the cat food. And my son works at a pet shop, so he gets it from there. I can't pick it up. I can't walk and carry a bag of cat food, big bag. So my son is walking down here from the next, or from two villages away. Um, he's gonna come down here and drop it off outside. So I get to see him, but I can't cuddle him and give him a hug. I think that's why I'm feeling down. Yeah, it's gonna be so hard. I just wanna give him a hug. When I see him, it's, it's so easy to say to him, oh, just come in and sanitize him, but we know we can't, we can't mix. And, it's gonna be hard. So yeah, probably that's why I'm feeling down. Why do you guys, I think, I just have to go back on and do baiting again to try and get my mind off stuff. It's nice and sunny outside, as you can see, but it's cold. So it's not helping me decent. I think we're gonna get some sunshine on Thursday. Um, yeah. This is painting rest of today, a bit more painting again tomorrow. And then I've got a chest of drawers to paint. Not sure what colour to do them yet. I'd like to paint in green, but this is obviously a rented house, so I don't know if that's gonna be acceptable. No, I'll think. I keep doing I keep drifting off. So yeah, I will see you shortly and our video. Josh, come in. I am excited. <laughs> see you soon. Hello, Hello Joss. <laughs> I'm gonna open the door, stand back. Oh, Josh is leaving and that. He's picked up his bike. There he goes. Oh, it's so sad, I can't hug him. Is it not looking? See ya! <laughs> Great. It is Tuesday the 20... We're calling up 21st of April today. Um, I've just come on to show you um, a thing I got delivered today, which is um, an overdoor pantry organiser. As you might know, I've got a pantry in my kitchen and it's getting a bit overrun with stuff. Don't know why when it's only just two of us living there, but it's overrun with food and things. So I thought I'll get a pantry overdoor storage rack thing so i can put like probably my spices and things in there now i haven't got a drill or anything like that so i'm hoping this one just stays on because some i've seen on ebay you had to drill screws in the door and i can't do that because i'm in a rented house so i'm a bit concerned that it's not going to stay but i'm going to show you it now this has all been disinfected because this pack box should i say it came yesterday and as soon as they come, I spray it everywhere with, well, sand and salt. It is really the same as but I spray it with everything, basically. So this, what I got from eBay, was £12.99. Um, I should be able to get in it soon. I think I'm opening it completely, utterly wrong way. And I'm not dressed up today, as you can see, paint on my sleeve, because this is my paint on clothes, because I'm still painting my hallway. I did pick up a colour, thinking it'd be a bit like um, a jade green with like a touch of green in it, to kind of match the green carpet, but it's come out as like a teal. I've got a, no, not a teal, blue. It was called jaded teal, thinking it's like a jade green, jaded teal, jade blue, but it's come out quite blue. I'll be showing you that later when it's completed properly. I want it all set up. I'm trying to find a runner for it, but I can't find any cheap runners. The teal runner one is £30. I'm sure you can get them cheaper than 
Right, it's a three door, a three tier over door steer, sto I can't speak. Three tier over door storage rack. Now on the picture, it shows an overhook thing with screw holes. And just there, it's got like, the bottom has got like rubber supports. So I can paint on there. It's got rubber supports. So I'm hoping it'll stay and don't have to be screwed on. Or I might have to get them, um, oh, I don't know what you call them. Bon Wilkinson's, they're really strong suction. Stick on hook things. What do you call them? Like, like no nails hooks, basically. Yeah, being like that, and I'm forgetting everything. So it comes in pieces. Let's try and take it back, back carefully. Does it come with any? Wait, the whole house up, but don't you? Esther? Yes, it comes with screws. I feel like I can't drill in my wall, so I'm hoping this is just going to stay and it's going to go over my door, but I think that's wider than my door. <laughs> Disaster already. But we'll see. I'm going to try these on the wall, but on the door first, just to see the flag. And I'll come and show you. They tripped up the box, then it went flying on YouTube. That is, if you can see, it is. Can you see up there? It is a lot bigger than the actual door part. So, I might have a bit of a problem. What do you think? And this is my pantry door. This is my pantry, so to say. So, I might have a problem, but what I'm gonna do is get you there straight on. I'm gonna build it up. I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna let you see if it's any good because there'll be a lot of people probably in rented houses that want to know things that is good they have to be screwed on if they're looking for a pantry overdoor storage thing um so by seeing mine you'll know if you can buy one or not i'm just a bit I mean, you know what i need to do i need to invest in a drill i need to learn how to drill right i'm gonna build this then and we'll show what it's like I need to show you to put this on the whole of these hooks that goes over the door. You have to take these little black, little black, little grey caps off. And then you put it, oh, it's got to go that way. And then you put it through and then you put the cap back on. So then it then stays there like that. I'll show you the other side. And get it off, take that off, put this on, put the cap back on, and then it stayed there. And then that goes on your door. Now I'm hoping you'll be able to see me all the way over there, put it on my door. I'm not sure if that's going to be sturdy on my door. What I might have to do is um, squeeze the two things together at the top. They do feel, bend fairly easily. We'll see if I can just get a friend to drill this on. Because I don't think when I put stuff on, if it's going to stay or not. I might try one or two things. Right, put it back on again. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to need someone to Goodness knows who. I'm going to have to learn myself, aren't I? So, yeah. Problems of being single. If you see, there's quite a lot of, um, there's quite a lot of leeway. So I'm going to need it screwing to there. But, like I said, being a single parent, I've got no one that can drill holes in there like that. So I might have to learn myself. 
and then cover it up because it's a rented house, cover it up when I, if and when I leave the property. Because I don't think that's gonna, and also I've noticed I've got my camera bag holder here. So when the door shuts, is it gonna hit the cap? Oh, 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 oh no. It's not gonna hit it. I thought I was gonna have such a major problem with that. But you know what? On my next month wage, or for my birthday actually, I'm gonna treat myself to a drill. Because I think I can't risk putting things in this. Um, let me put something for an example. What could I put in there? I will end up putting spices and things in, but right. I don't really know if it's gonna hold, to tell you the truth. Will it hold? If I put heavy things at the top, then I think it might hold. Yeah, if anybody knows um, any good cheap drill I could get, greatly appreciated. I did speak to someone on um, Facebook that has just started drilling and she's bought one. Um, and she's learnt it, so if she can do it, I can do it. So anyway, that's my three tier spice rack. It is quite a decent size for 12 99 It does hold a lot on your pantry door. So I do recommend that. Right now, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and a little sit down before I start again on the painting. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you my painting. If you look behind me now, that is supposed to be jaded teal. Look at my carpet green that looks blue it looks more blue in the camera though should i say than when it does on the wall but it is it, it's, it's too blue so i'm panicking a bit it looks just too blue it does not go with the carpet so i'm gonna have to buy a teal and green carpet to try and get it to blend in because my floor is brown so I can't show you my blooming floor because my floor is brown, look. Disaster. And I've got like gold stick on um, leaves to put on the white wall just here near my plug. And then I've got a plug surround to put over here. Oh, and yes, I did paint over my butterflies because I thought when all the paint is dry, if I peel them off, it might look good. Might, I think it's good. Butterfly shapes, a little bit of beige that blends in with the floor, but if it doesn't, oh, I'm just going to have to paint over them. Shall I do it now? I haven't took these off yet. Let's see. This is going to be rubbish, isn't it? I know it is. Let's have a see. Oh, God, if I could peel it. Let's see what it's like. This is originally a ladybird, isn't it? No. Does that look any good? No. It looks ridiculous. I was going to say swear word, but there might be children watching. It looks ridiculous. Great. Or oh, I can just put my green leaf over that. Didn't quite work out what I wanted it to do. So. I'll speak to you later because, yes, like I said, I've got to finish off painting it. And do you know what? I've got such cold feet. I keep having such cold feet lately. Feet and cold feet. Right, speak to you soon. Hope, bye bye. Hope, speak to you soon. Bye. I'm right, so going to do the rope flower design with the paint and some string. I'm going to dip the string in the paint and then we'll put it on the paper and then pull. So you're going to see what I mean. This is going to be a practice try. So, you can see, dip the string in the paint so it is all covered. Might need to use my brush on here or an old chopstick, whatever. What you could do is get your paint and just put it on top of them. Um, a paper plate and put the paint on that. Right, let's get the string all covered. Oh, I've dropped that from a bit now in the paint. There. And now 
you watch my piece of paper we get this string and I do it in a curvy pattern like that and then apparently you're supposed to just pull it <laughs> and it does a flower now that really doesn't look like a flower to me I don't there's enough paint in here but we'll try again Oh, now that's a better one. I'm not sure if there's enough paint on here. You really shouldn't be doing it in this. You've got enough paint. Let's try and go over this again. It might help the design. Ooh. Has it helped the design? I don't know. <clears throat> they got it on the top. Now this is my first attempt, so it's not gonna be perfect, but in there. Do you think artists in the making? I don't know, like this. So, um, let me just see the photo film I need to use. I'm trying to do a long one. so much paint on it. There's definitely a knack to it. Well, my phone broke on me, but here's the pink one. And I'm sure there is definitely a knack of doing this. Oh yeah, it seems to be slower the better. That is a little odd idea for you. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of these pictures. I'm not sure which one yet. I'm gonna put it in a frame and put it on my new wall. That's the pink one, how that pink turned out. So, row part. Hello, today is Thursday the 23rd, I think. I'm lost with my days. Is it Thursday today? I'm sure it's Thursday. Anyway, I've got to come back on after my, all my paintings are dried that I done yesterday. I'm not too, I'm not 100% happy with them. That one's turned out a bit of a mess. But to me, it's art. And what I'm going to do is, like I explained before, is put a picture up of my hot away. My new painted away, because I painted it the jade green colour. And I am, um, what I just, instead of buying an expensive picture, which will be about between £10 upwards, um, what I thought was I'd do my own. So I've got a frame from Asda. This frame was £3.50, the rose gold frame. And I thought, just put my own picture in it. And you a little piece of art. Whether it's rubbish or not, I did actually, when I had done, after I'd done these um, string paintings, I went on uh, YouTube to try and see how different versions of people do this. They also do it with bending the paper in half, which what I didn't want to do where you put the paper in, and let me show you this one, 
you put the paper in half and put the string in there and then pull the string but it'll give me a line or you can put paper on top so I decided on paper on top um, and then pull the string through so there is lots of this different versions I think it's just gonna get take practice to get better what I'll do is though for now I'm gonna put this one in the frame if I can get better with a bit more practice I will come on and show you again and I will also transfer that over and put that in this frame but for now I'm going to put this one in let me just take the back off the frame I did really want a bigger picture but um frame. that's my dog so he wants his water is that better yes and there is my artistic drawing not 100% is this bit <laughs> but that'll do for now got gonna give the dog water and while I'm here, I wanted to come on and just show you the result of the chalk paint, paint, spray paint that you can get from Poundland. This is the Summer Sage colour from Poundland. This is two pound in Poundland. I've just sprayed, now this is two coats. I've just sprayed my Chester drawers with it. And that's the colour it comes out. It does say on it, you can do um, numerous coats, build up coating of several thin layers between coats. Well, actually that's not it too then, that's three coats. But that's how it comes out and I don't want to do any more coats than that, I don't really want it any darker. So I thought I'd come on and show you that. Another thing I wanted to show you, I'll put this to the side. Another thing I wanted to show you is another gadget I got from eBay. Take it out of the packaging. And it is a lint roller. Now this is perfect for bobbly, this is not bobbly yet, but it's perfect for getting bobbles off your jumpers. But it is also fantastic if you've got pets and for getting pet hair off the carpets and upholstery. I'm gonna go and take you with me now and I'll show you oh look at my grey hair <laughs> oh my god I'll show you I have I could show you on a chair as well but I don't think there's much cat hairs on the chair first time ever but I'm going to show you on the carpet what carpet should we do we'll do the bottoms we'll do this step if you look here can you see for bringing up hair off carpets as well and upholstery because I said I couldn't find much but I'm sure there must be one bit somewhere put that bit there so this is an old upholstery as well so I'm not too bothered about doing it here it also brings it up off your settees don't do it on your brand new settees obviously you don't want to risk you pulling anything but yeah, so this was um, 2 99 from eBay, this was. So I'm so pleased with that. I don't know where I got this. Oh, I got the tip from Mrs. Hinch of Instagram. So thank you, Mrs. Hinch. I was like, I thought, then this is not going to work. Because I normally use window scrapers, but it, you need a lot of arm work with that. And it was really hurting my, my um, joints because I've not got very good upper arm body strength so it, I thought oh, no, I need something a bit lighter but this is a lot a lot better you don't need to use much muscle strength at all with this right now I'm going to finish off painting the edges of my painting and then I'm going to have a go of making my Lovart twig picture design which I will be YouTubing that as well so I'll catch you later you know this quarantine it's no good on my hair look at my hair Oh my word. So I'll catch you later after that bit of moaning. Bye. 
So that's my new rug I bought from eBay. It is fantastic. It was only, um, how much was it? I think it was 12 dollars 99 but I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. But I think it is beautiful. It feels so soft on your feet as well. So I'm so pleased with that. It matches the room lovely. And then I've put some Fablon on the plastic drawers to try and jazz them up a bit. Don't need some over the top. I've done the, the top one, as you can see. Just makes it not so tacky, I suppose. Not tacky, cheap. And I need to show you, I put this on my Instagram, if I can find it. I tested out the Tanologist face and body drops yesterday. And if you check out my Instagram, I will put it on my main main instagram pictures as well it it does tan i put you can have one to 12 drops in here i use five drops with some moisturizer um and yeah it is really tan my face i've noticed i forgot to do my hairline but yeah it's it's it has worked it's tan my face i don't know if you can tell from here i can tell from the lighting you can see my neck here but it's fantastic, $14.99 that was. So I do recommend it. Now I'm going to make Alice and Hammond from this morning's, um, what are they called? They named it Prep Biscuits. So I can't wait. Oh, and I've done a thank you post. It. Oh, it's upside down. A thank you postman picture. Copied the picture of Google and it is full enough thank you for my post to my postman and delivery drivers and then they also do one for the bin men thank you refuse collectors so show you my appreciation right now i'm gonna make these prep biscuits from alex and hammond it is i forgot the ingredients <laughs> you need is it's like chocolate orange ones you can put a zest of a zest of orange in it but i've got no oranges so i'm just gonna do it with my chocolate chips and it's called prep cookies, which is 110 grams of butter, 85 grams of sugar, 175 grams of, oh, 85 grams of brown sugar, should I say, 170 grams of caster sugar, one egg, 200 grams of flour, pinch of salt, and 100 grams of chocolate pieces. And you cook it in the oven, gas mark 200 for 14 minutes. So I'm now going to do that. And I'll get back to you because I haven't really done much vlogging because I've had a quite a few days of feeling really low. Three days I felt so low and so lonely. Um, not been good at all really, but today I'm feeling a lot more better. So I'm going to do this baking and then I'll get back and show you some other stuff. Bye. And there are the biscuits. This is the second day, so there's only three left. I forgot to show you them, but they're the biscuits. The prep biscuits and the taste of food. They do taste so nice. I'm going to have one now with my cup of tea. Even my daughter likes them. And she doesn't really like cookies at all. So it's worked out really good. I'm going to have a cup of tea now and my biscuit. My prepped cookie, should I say. And I'll end this vlog um, with, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on the bottom and I'll see you soon for my next video. Bye.